Hey you guys, this is a continuation. This is Mario here from MTG Diagnosis again. Dr. Bardet, magic player by night. Um, this is a continuation of episode 12 where we got a Narumiha, a Joda, and a Cabal Stronghold as the top three packs. The next three packs we're gonna open up here. So, hoping to get a Teferi and a Karn. I mean, those are my two favorite cards from this set. Um, Karn, because he's, you know, basically you know, one of the best cards in the game right now. And Teferi, because I like blue-white control. So, plus his ability to, um, his ultimate ability is amazing. So, I'm going to have to close this off. Before I scratch something, um, fire and elemental dub giant growth caligo skin witch ancient animus power stone shard. See, that's new. This little colorless symbol uh, that was never there back in the old days, it was always a one with a color, a colorless symbol. Uh, unwind. Death Bloom Thalid, uh, Shivan, Sparring Construct. Untamed Kavu is your first one. Um, and then also, back in the day, Vigilance wasn't a term. It was uh, does not tap to attack. So that's pretty cool that they changed that. Uh, Kickers actually came into um, effect later. Uh, I know um, it's probably... Might have been... Alliances, maybe a little bit after that. Um, and then uh, Jorah's Familiar. And our rare is Precognition Field. Slinvoda is another uncommon. And Mountain and Sapperling. <clears throat> so, Slinvoda. You know, if you can see that uh, two blue, six colorless for an 8-8 eight, eight with a kicker. Uh, reminds me of Polar Kraken, which was 11-11 uh, of cumulative upkeep of sacrifice of land. So you either, the Polar Kraken, you either took care of your opponent. Oh, yeah, Trample, too. You either took care of your opponent within a couple turns or he took care of you. <laughs> uh, Gitu Lava Runner, Sarah Disciple. Cabal Paladin, Chaos Protector, Shivan Fire, Call of the Calvary, Llanowar Elves. By the way, this art is so much better than the old art, Llanowar Elves art. I mean, that guy, that was horrible. It was like a, it was like a Spartan soldier with a giant tattoo on his face. It was ugly. Eviscerate, Unwind. Memorial to Folly is our first uncommon. Weight of Memory is our second uncommon. And our Hinterlands Harbor is our third, or is our rare. And our third uncommon is Baird, Steward of Argive. Um, by the way, back in the day, nobody played green blue. It was just not enough firepower. You either played uh, blue white or blue black or green red or. Uh, yeah, or mono green, but green blue. I don't think anybody played green blue. Just didn't have enough firepower. Not enough uh, instants or sorceries to cause any damage. And this is our third pack from the second row. Uh, Cold Water Snapper, Fervent Strike, Stronghold Confessor. Pierce the Sky, Sorcery, Pan Pardic Wander, Sapperling Migration, Jousting Lance, Run Amok, Blink of an Eye, Untamed Kabu again, Uncommon, Settle the Score is our other Uncommon, and Goblin Chain Whirler is our rare, Avad the Cursed again is our other Uncommon, Forest and Goblin. So. so these are our rares this time. We had the Goblin Chain Whirler, 
Three, three for three red for a strike. When he enters the battlefield, deals one damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. Into Lance Harbor, which is our dual land. Um, comes in tapped if you don't control a, a forest or an island and can tap for a green or blue. And precognition field enchantment, one blue, three colorless. Uh, look at the top cards of your library. You may do the, the top one card of your library. You can do this at any time. And three colors, exile the top card of your library. Uh, you can also cast that uh, top card if it's an instant or sorcery. So you can see this very useful for, for a blue-red wizard's deck. Or in a blue-white control. Um, all right, that ends this episode. Um, uh, episode 13, uh, next episode 14.